So where am I supposed to look? There's two cameras. Look, like, in between them. Okay. Like, talking to me. <laughs> Alright. All right. Hello. Who are you? I'm, uh, Thomas Daniel, and I'm a co-op member. Well, my name is Tanya Young, and I'm the membership and marketing manager here. And how did the co-op get started? Well, um, Minami Market began um, very much like most other food co-ops in this country, and in the 70s, and ours in particular is 1973. Um, so they would buy a 50-pound bag of rice and then divide that up amongst their families to get um, what they needed. Their pr primary interest was getting um, wholesome organic food at an affordable price. So then um, that gradually evolved into having um, larger garage spaces in private homes and then a few um, different storefronts. And then um, we've been in this location since 2001 and this is by far the largest storefront. Um, there were a few in North Menominee before coming here. I have some of our local eggs here, and most of our eggs come from about 40 different suppliers, all within a 50 mile radius of our store. And some of their, they really vary in size. Some people will bring in their little um, six pack cooler and five dozen eggs at a time, and then the people that have more chickens, they'll come in with their giant coolers full of, um, you know, maybe a hundred dozen eggs. You know. In a conventional grocery store, if you buy a pound of flour or sugar, it may have been sitting in a warehouse for a year and then sitting on the grocery store shelf for another six months. Here, when we order our flour from a company in Minnesota, they grind it right then. So it's extremely fresh. It arrives here, we put it in our bulk bin, and it sells within a few days. So it's extremely fresh. Our staff genuinely cares about the success of this business. They care about the shopper's health and their needs, and most of our employees are actually members here. Uh, I am uh, currently the produce manager. I started here as a cashier uh, about five years ago, and I cashiered for two years, and I've been the produce manager for three years. Um, do you personally buy groceries? Bill, you have a timer go off? Bill, you had a timer go off? <laughs> See, there's always something going on. <laughs> It's changed my diet in a lot of the ways that you would expect, um, specifically working in produce. Uh, I cook a lot more from scratch. Um, I eat a lot, many, many more vegetables than I ever used to. But I would say probably the, the biggest way and the way that I've most enjoyed is in, in every department, produce and meat and dairy and lots of other departments, I'm so much more aware of all the variety within those categories. I know about so many more greens. I know about so many more vegetables. Just the, the variety of beets that are out there, for example, would amaze you. Where do you see the co-op heading in the future? Well, um, I think you probably are aware that we're, a current, we're currently a vibrant, um, growing business um, located in this downtown, and we expect that to continue, and all of us want that to continue. Um, so kind of internally, I shouldn't say kind of, internally we have for the past five to seven years been preparing for expansion. Is there any um, location in specific you guys 
guys have in mind that are expanding it? Um, well, a couple of years ago, we, you know, that the Leavers, the abandoned Leavers property is, of course, of interest to a lot of people in this community. And I think people see us as a likely um, anchor spot for that place. And we have been previously involved in a potential project to be that. Mm -hmm. So that is a potential. And there's certainly other property opportunities downtown. There's a lot of um, real estate for sale. Mm -hmm. So we have options. Yeah, it's good to have options. Best day ever. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs>